The reason why I don't really want to go through all of this is because I want you guys to do this. It's part of the extra credit assignment. And so what the extra credit assignment is, it's uh, two things. One of the parts is I want you to diagram and give the functions of the formed elements. We've already talked about red blood cells. So you kind of know about those already. But I want you to go through the different types of white blood cells. And so for each of them, notice that there are five different types. Okay, there are two <coughs> categories. There are white blood cells. And in those two categories, there are five types. Okay, so for those different types, you should know their appearance. By the way, you will be identifying these on the test, on the practical exam, okay? You will be identifying them. So whether you wanna do the extra credit or not, you definitely wanna read about this, okay? So you need to know their appearance, you need to know their basic function or functions, and I am pretty sure you can get all of this from the PowerPoint. Yay, there it is. Okay. And you should know which type, whether they are a granulo, uh, which category? Granulocyte or a granulocyte. Okay, so these are the two categories. We have what are called granulocytes, and then we have two a Okay, so this is what you should know for each one. Again, you do not have to know exact numbers or exact percentages, but I would like you to know the relative amount, the relative, uh, you know, like which of them is the, the highest concentration in the blood down to the lowest. And I will give you a mnemonic for that, okay? It's never let monkeys eat bananas. Okay, so this would be the neutrophils, the um, lymphocytes, monocytes, uh, eosinophils, So this is the most to the least. So if you're looking at a slide, basophils and eosinophils are actually hard to find because we don't have very many in the blood. Remember in that test tube, you could see that compared to the red blood cells, how white blood cells are such a tiny, tiny, tiny amount all of the white blood cells all together, if you look at their normal count, the normal count for white blood cells is only about 5,000 to 11,000 per cubic millimeter of blood. Compare that to 5 million for the red blood cells. So we really don't have that many white blood cells compared to the red. So when you look at a blood slide or blood smear, Yeah, so what you're gonna see, and you can see these on the laser disc, you'll see the red blood cells kind of all over the place, and you'll see a few white blood cells just kind of scattered among them. Notice that the white blood cells look obviously very different, right? They look very different from the red, so you will not get them confused with the red blood cells. And they do look different from each other, but you really have to kind of pay attention to their appearance. <clears throat> So when I say know their appearance, if you're doing this extra credit, you're actually going to be drawing them. And so you want to pay attention to the color, things like the color. And when I say color, what I mean by that is these will be stained when you look at these in a slide. So they'll tell you the color that you would usually see. Like for instance, eosinophils are usually red. Okay, so the color that they stain um, the size, because 
One of them is the smallest, one is the largest. That helps you identify them. Okay, whether or not they have granules in their cytoplasm, okay, granules or not, that's why they're called granulocytes or agranulocytes. A means without. And the shape of their nuclei. So this is how you differentiate the different white blood cells. So remember, you guys are gonna be identifying these on the test. Okay, so you want to, you know, when you're doing the extra credit, you don't want to just copy it from the book, color it in, okay, here you go. You want to think about it because you have to know it. You will be identifying these. You have to know their functions. This will be on the written exam. Okay. So whether you're doing the extra credit or not, you definitely want to go through the PowerPoint and know this stuff. Okay, so this is for the white blood cells. For the platelets, Okay. Platelets are just fragments of cytoplasm that break off of large cells that are in the bone marrow. And what they do is they stop bleeding. They function in hemostasis. Okay, so this word literally means blood standing still. But it means that they stop bleeding. Okay, so if you're wondering, well, how do they do that? Platelets actually respond whenever we have a break in a blood vessel they release different substances and they start that whole series of chemical reactions in forming the blood clot so they will stimulate formation of the clot and they also form what is called the platelet plug now the platelet plug is not the blood clot. Remember, the blood clot is actually the fibrin threads, okay? But this is something that kind of helps to slow the bleeding while the clot is forming. And it's actually formed just by the platelets themselves. They clump together and they kind of help to um, pull the edges of the wound together, okay? So you guys can read about this. And if you're identifying platelets, these are super easy to identify because they don't show any of them here, but what they would look like compared to the size of these blood cells would be about like that. Because they're just fragments of cytoplasm, of big cells that are in the bone marrow, and these little pieces of cytoplasm break off and they go into the blood as platelets. These only last for about 10 days in the blood. So they're constantly being replaced. Okay, so definitely want to go through the PowerPoint. If you guys have questions on that, let me know. When we review for the test, I can run through this stuff, but I will go through it very fast. So you want to cover it on your own. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're just covering leukocytes on our own? Uh, leukocytes and platelets. Okay. Yeah, so go through the rest of the PowerPoint. Okay. So. This is what all of you want to do. Okay. Whether you're doing the extra credit or not, go to the PowerPoint. So this is what you can expect to see on the written exam is what's in the PowerPoint. Okay, for the practical exam, for the blood, you will be identifying all the formed elements. Okay, now I may not have every single white blood cell on the test, but some of them will be, okay as well as platelets and red blood cells. So you want to make sure that you look at these. I would say the best thing to do is use the laser disc to identify them. There's really good blood slides on the laser disc. So you want to look at each white blood cell during the lab. Red blood cells and platelets are easy to identify. Okay, so this is what you all want to do. This is not extra credit. 
credit. Okay, for the extra credit, part of it. You want to diagram all of the formed elements. Including red blood cells? Yes, all of the formed elements. Red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Okay. And so for the white blood cells, because these are the ones that have the weird, you know, different, they stain different colors. They, um, have weird nuclei. You can see here in the, the pictures here. Okay, so you want to pay attention to the color. So meaning, you know, you want to use different colors in your diagrams. Don't put them all in pencil. Okay. Color on um, shape of nuclei. Size, etc. All of those things. And you can put this all in one big blood smear. You can have different white blood cells and just label them. Or you can make different little separate pictures the way this is. I don't care, as long as they're all there. <coughs> okay, also you want to list their functions. And you guys have to cover this material anyway, right? So you might as well do it. Might as well do the extra credit. And you have a whole week, actually week and a half. This isn't due till next Thursday. This is part of the extra credit. The other part is gonna have to do with the heart. And so we'll talk about that when we talk about the heart. How much is the extra credit worth? It'll be 10 points total. Okay, any questions on that? So um, let's take a break and I'll give you a little bit of a few extra minutes. Let's come back at 9 o'clock. We'll talk about the heart. Okay.